one of the most impactful conversations I've ever had in my life and just life changing lasted no more than 10 to 15 seconds total from start to finish by a guy who I had never met before the conversation and have never met since the conversation. Right. And my mind is blown to this day. Just thinking back to this conversation as I'm like reliving it here, trying to tell this story. I'm just, it's all just swirling. Everything's swirling. So what could be such a conversation that now six or seven years later, I'm still just kind of shook by it. About to tell you. I was working, got onto an elevator on level one, going up to about level four. There's already a guy on the elevator when I get on there, which didn't seem right because I don't think there's any like basements you can get to from this. It's like ground floor. There's nothing below and the elevator doesn't go any lower. And this guy just wrote down the elevator just to go back up. So that should have been a red flag. As soon as the doors start shutting, not before and not when they're shut, like about here, right? Starting, closed, they're about halfway. At that point, this fella turns to me and he says, I'm, uh, I'm having the same conversation with multiple people throughout the day. I'm trying to have the same conversation over and over again. And I say... Wow, that's cool. What's your conversation? At which point he says, this is it right here. At which point I hear a ding. The door starts opening on the third floor where he's going out of this thing. And I say, wow, how many times have you had this conversation? At which point he walks off the elevator, turns around as the doors are closing and saying, this is where I end the conversation each time. I kind of wish I got this guy's name. I wanted more information. A part of me thinks if there's any unsolved crimes in the area where this was, the police should probably look at this guy. <laughs> He's clearly on a thinking level way up above everybody else. And honestly, that sounds like a serial killer to me. Don't think he was. He seemed very innocent. He seemed, uh, if, if anything, just kind of mildly shy. I'm kind of assuming, right? This is my assumption that he's in some sort of like a, uh, I don't know, like a public speaking class or like, you know, get outside your box type thing. And the instructor's like, you need to go out and talk to people. And he's like, I don't know what to do. And then the instructor's like, let me give you this one conversation you can carry on with multiple people. I want to know how many times this guy was successful at this. His timing was perfect he knew from the first floor doors closing to him walking off of the first floor to the third floor walking off the third floor he knew that he could turn around comedically and go this is where i end my conversation each time pretty amazing y'all try this out this week <laughs> see how many people you can have this conversation with and then come back here to the comments and let me know if you want extra credit just like Film me and like tag, film it and, and tag, tag me in there or something. That'd be cool. That's what I got today, y'all. It's a little bit different, a weird one. Makes me think. I'm, I got questions for this guy. If this guy's out here, I'd love, I would very much love for him to uh, comment. If you know him, let me know. That's all I got, y'all. Be good. <laughs>